Tere Eesti jahimeed, oleme siin Ungaris Budapestis endiselt ja täna on meiega siin Rob Nelson Ameerikast. Ta puutub kokku ka tihedalt juhindusega, ta teeb hästi palju videosid, ta on päris populaarne, ta on võitud ka Emmi ja ta räägibki siis enda kogemusest. Oh, hello Rob, hello. how are you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well, thank you. So you had this presentation about um, mental health mm -hmm. and uh, the connection with uh, um, nature. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's the connection link there? Well, I've just found that one of the biggest problems we have in society right now is a mental health crisis. Um, it's not something everybody talks about but everyone knows somebody who's depressed or anxious. And I just feel like it's a disconnect a lot from nature, from community, from a sense of purpose. And so the connection back to kind of this world, you know, the, the nature world and hunting in particular is that one of the best ways to regain that connection is like immediately through hunting, of course, because you have the community aspect you're in nature, like immersed, like you can feel it and touch it. Um, and there's a little bit of a sense of purpose because it's just naturally what what comes with, with the hunt. Your guide, I'm doing this because I think we all need to find ways to reconnect again with this. But it seems to me when we work in small groups and we're intimately connected with nature, we're healthiest and happiest. But with all the tech that we have and the big cities that we live in, I feel like we've forgotten many of the things that serve to make us happy. And who's there to teach us? What happens to those teachers, those wise elders, when we leave school? It's hard for a lot of us to find. Where do you go to learn about this? And while it's second best, you're probably going right here on the internet. You're watching me on the tube. This is a resource, so to speak. Stone Age Man, this series right here, is about understanding nature better. The plants, the animals, and humans. Of course, humans are not separated from nature. It's not us versus nature. You don't have us. to you know, hunt an animal necessarily while you're out there doing a hunt. But all three of those things are connected, and it, it it's a great solution to the mental health problem that we have. Something like that, you know, it really is. Uh, I've seen it more as I get older. Sure. So, yeah. so you d you have done a lot of videos uh, mm -hmm. about nature, and you won an Emmy. And so, how's how's your approach on the videos and about showing the nature and like hunting process and, and like what's your vision wh while you're g like doing it? Right. Well, I always kind of start with the core that people need to understand nature better. They need to reconnect. Yeah. Um, obviously when they're watching a film, they're not out in nature. You know, they're watching it in a theater or they're watching it on their phones. But I want people to be very immersed and entertained in the process because they have to see the message and then want to be inspired enough to go out themselves afterwards. Uh, the one I won an Emmy for was up, uh, up in, northern, in the northern US. It was kind of a unique area, but uh, we just, we mixed it in an adventure. It wasn't about hunting. None of the, none of the films are about hunting per se, because I feel like it, it's a trigger for people who are not hunters, mm -hmm. as soon as they see a gun. So I never put guns in the things, but I always kind of deliver the message of people who are in rural communities. And I think that's really powerful and everybody can relate to and get on board with. And then later, if you want to bring the hunting in, since we're talking about hunting, yeah. then you can, but you don't do it at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. So, how would you introduce hunting to the non-hunters community? Like, what would you say to them? Yeah. Well, I think it's so important that hunters have empathy for non-hunters. You have to understand what they value, what everyone values. And I think you can start with everybody wants to live healthy and eat well. And most people eat meat. I think you can have a conversation about what is the healthiest, most ethical way to eat meat. And you could even like, you know, like if you really were trying to convince somebody, you could go out and you could have a meal that is a nice game meat and talk about where that came from. But to me, it's like, it's a healthy lifestyle. And I'm surprised that's not at the center of every conversation about hunting. Like it's about healthy lifestyle. It's about the mental health I just talked yeah. about. It's finding, reconnecting to our human roots and um, 
n almost nobody can deny that. Nobody's going to say, well, we don't want you to have the healthiest food. We don't want you to have a healthy lifestyle. We don't want you to have good mental health. We know that does it for you, but we don't want you to have it. Nobody will say that. And I, I think it's so important. And I've never found somebody who, who is against hunting after a conversation like that. My hope is that if you're a hunter, you can have some pride in the fact that if you're doing it right, you're protecting everything else at the same time as you're riding around in landscapes like this. I also hope that if you're not a hunter, you can see that hunters aren't always doing it just to shoot things. They can be protecting a ton of American flora and fauna too. That's conservation. Just having this habitat is kind of a gift. That's the way I see it at least. Yeah. Thank you. Don't you think? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your invite. It was very you, be, you bet. Thanks.